Look at down here, the view. The harbor. Is this right? The Ferris wheel's right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll put my, uh, my, uh, purse up in my locker. Uh, it's like, <laughs> what an awesome view. Dad, Dad, here's Mom. Armpit purse. Dad, Dad. <laughs> about this place. Go ahead. white toast under here. This orange juice is amazing, better than Tropicana, okay? It's better than anything I've ever had, okay? Look at this. They have these boxes, right, that they made. But then look how they strung the... To keep them upright? Yeah, they, 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 they wheat wove with plastic. Okay. If it loads up. Can't say the same for some of the other people in the streets. 
So you need to stand to the photograph, make it a quickie. We respectfully request that you don't eat or drink when you're on a bus. Water is fine. Do you have any questions from all that? I think they always make the floor more varied for everyone. My specialization is this one. But having said that, I'm not uh, walking this way inside the medium. Nonetheless, uh, I should be able to answer most of it. Currently, the world's largest, tallest observation wheel, taller than the London Eye. Our span is at 165 meters, but it won't be the tallest for long because the uh, German company, the Bell Towers, is actually building two more. One in Berlin, the other one in Beijing. Okay. And both will be taller. You want to get on the flyer? Yeah. yeah. And we knew that, so we could have actually oh, killed our flyer. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense to do that because the highway is going to still see the same thing. There are 28 cabins on the wheel. Each cabin can accommodate 28 people. Each ride consists of half an hour. But you usually get a few extra minutes. I will get on it. Some companies occasionally book the cabins more than one round for cocktails. To entertain the VIP corporate clients to discuss some business. They become very popular with the lovers of Valentine's Day. And uh, more and more people race in September 2008. It was the first ever night race in F1 history. We are required to hold hours at 8 p.m. Our time. So three hotel towers there. Convention halls, shopping malls, a whole host of things. But the highlights are the casinos. And it's the first time we're having casinos in Singapore. They're mostly for the big boys and high rollers. And, uh, these are servers of my company, Fur Line. And uh, if you want to know more about its origin, how it got its name, etc., you can either our uh, This kind of rain doesn't bother me, but my equipment, unfortunately, will catch cold. So I'm going to go down and when it's done, I'm going to hop off and put it in the upper deck, just stand up, and see you from a camera that's mounted in the next one. So that's the world line. I'd like to focus on what we're about to enter, which is the uh, heart of our civic district. It's where all of our colonial history is all. Before we begin, Singapore, next month for the first ever summer tourism. This is stop number four, the Victoria Theatre stop. For those of you who are hopping off at the uh, Asian Civilization Museum, Back on here. This is the Victoria Theatre stop. This is the Victoria Theatre and Concert Hall on your left. Named after Queen Victoria. Standing in front of it is a statue of Stamford Raffles. Just who he was, I'll tell you later in our Raffles from history. On the right is the Singapore Cricket Club. I'll find you tell you an interesting story about this club later on. As we turn this corner on the left is the Arts House, which used to be the old Parliament House. On the left is the old Supreme Court building, the Chesnick Old Supreme Court building, next to which is City Hall, which used to be the municipal or town hall. The name changed to place in 1951 when we were officially granted city status. This is the stadium that I was uh, mentioning a while ago, a moment ago. Every year that ends with a zero, like this year, or a five, in other words, every five years, we return to our roots. Uh, we held our first ever National Day Parade on the 9th of August 1966 one year after we separated from Malaysia. I'll tell you a bit more about our history uh, very soon. So, uh, we return to our groups in years that end with a zero or five. All the other years... If you live in landed property like bungalows, semi-detached houses, terrace houses, townhouses, it would mean that you've definitely arrived in life. They cost a lot more because they come with larger built-up areas, even larger land areas, which are yours and yours alone. Unlike in the condos where you have to share the land and the facilities with your fellow residents. Now around 85% of us live in government built housing known as Housing and Development Board or HDB flats. The HDB is a government organization that was set up in 1960, 50 years ago, uh, to build homes for us. And their first five year target was to build 50,000, average 10,000 a year. Everyone said that was not going to be possible. What was the world like then? What was Singapore like? But not only was the target achieved, it was exceeded by five years.
in the now living Suntec City. If you choose to stay on board the Hippo, you'll be back here in an hour. There are 16 stops along this route. To maximize your touring experience, we encourage you to hop on and off as often as you can to explore the grounds on foot. The Heritage Depot operates from do register early to avoid disappointment. For your safety, you must remain seated. This book is Junction Mall. Behind it, this book is a Chinese goddess of mercy. You go to this table questions in a prayer and receive guidance in the definition stroke available in Chinese and English. <laughs> We are approaching Little India, the first of four precincts on our heritage tour. The population in Singapore stands at 4.8 million. Indians make up 9% of the population, Chinese 75, Malay 14, and the remaining 2% from various regions. <laughs> to gold jewelry, silverware, and silk saris. Take a deep breath, and you may even catch the rich aroma of spices. Soon, coming up on our left is one of the oldest Hindu temples in Singapore. Built in 1881, the Sri Jirakarma temple was dedicated to Goddess Kali. The colorful tower above the entrance, known as Okaram, is lavishly decorated with sculptures of deities and mythical beasts. Shop houses here are marked for conservation. Designed pragmatically with shop space at ground level and living quarters on the upper floor, they are the definitive buildings. Mustafa is the first 24-hour departmental store in Singapore. Popular with both locals and tourists. Over the past 185 years, Padang has seen all the victories, wars, 
1987. It was on these steps at City Hall that the Japanese surrendered to the British forces in 1945. Twenty years later, Singapore also declared her independence here. Straight ahead is Swiss Hotel in Raffles City at 73 floors to a temporary stadium that has been uh, put up. Windows dedicated to three great men. So instead of Raffles are under John Harvey's sentence. Coming up, stop H10, Peninsula Plaza. This also If anyone's hopping off in Chinatown, uh, your stops will be coming up after this. The cross burning coast attesting to their faith. Coming up, stop H12. The Buddha to Burning Channel on our right was opened in 2007. The same lake is open for public viewing twice a year on the Saturday and Chinese New Year. The brick building at the junction straight ahead was a rickshaw station built in the room.
Hello. We are at the top of this <laughs> Ferris wheel, right? And look at the view. It's amazing. <laughs> Ian, go ahead. Like the sands in Atlantic City, huh? There's a sands in the Atlantic. To the Sky Park at Marina Bay Sands. So no, we're going up 57 floors. Yo, dude. This is amazing. I quit. Ooh. We just flew up here, you guys. That was quick. Wait. Can I say? Yeah. Hey, before we do this, I got to tell my shit. Can you do this in my backpack, kid? Yeah. Look. Yep. Awesome. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the hospital
That's not funny. Water goes into the air. Look at it. Go stand over there, you and Daddy. I'll get your picture. Okay, this is real life. Turn around, friend. Shout out pool work. Beautiful Singapore. Why do you always say everybody looks alike? 
Swimming last night was fun with Ryan. Yeah. Ooh. Vegas, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> sense. we were up there yesterday. Oh. We went up top. How does it find good? Oh, See Be Beautiful yes. view. Beautiful.
these cheap little earrings. It's cute. Jade. It's cute.